I needed to amp up the difficulty, you know, make it a little bit tough for them because I was not about to lose to a bunch of Sims. So I decided to build this. I was bored. So I decided to see if I could spend 100 days in The Sims 3 without total control of my Sims. Okay, so now I'm going to pick a town for my Sims to live in. I'm going to pick Sunset Valley because it's just nice and easy. Now for our Sims, we have Ben 11 who is a loving husband to Ariana Petit, and they are both amazing parents to Miley Citrus. Now, now don't look at me like that, okay? Names are real hard to come up with. Anyways, now our family's complete, we're just gonna pick a nice and accessible house for them, something that makes it easy for them. For now though, I'm just gonna go with this one. I'm actually loving how cute our little family looks right now. Okay, so now we're in the game, our sims look good, I just gotta make sure that autonomy is turned on. So before we let them take care of themselves, we have to equip them financially. Now I gotta get each of them jobs. Oh, these two are already doing their thing. So in order to get them jobs, I need to get them a PC. This should be the only help I'm gonna give them. Just establish them financially and then they can do the rest by themselves. So I'm just going to put the PC outside. Um, there is no space for the table inside, so I'm just going to put it outside. And then we're going to get a little chair to go with it. So she's going to be a psychologist. And for him, performing arts. Miley? Miley? What are you doing? So now this is where the game begins. We've equipped them financially. We've set them up for life. Now it's time for them to take care of themselves. We're gonna see how well they handle eating, sleeping, and using the bathroom by themselves. So Ben is finally awake, Ariana is reading a book, and Miley is up to whatever she calls this thing. Personally, I'm excited to see how they handle eating, like feeding themselves, and also using the bathroom because I know that using the bathroom alone is a very very tasking thing even when I'm playing The Sims so I want to see how they handle it themselves. Well Miss Ariana is having a dish all to herself. Okay it seems Ben wants to make food. At this point in game I don't think they're good at making any food at all. He's making mac and cheese right now and I'm pretty sure he's gonna burn it because like this is his first time cooking. I was right guys, he burned the food. He burnt the food. You had one task then, one task, and you burnt the food. At this point, I practically think it's pretty much easy for them. Like, everything is easy right now. And why the heck is my toilet sink blinking? Ben is furious with the toilet. And uh, okay, now he's gonna go put away the burnt food. Ariana has already gone to bed. I love how she takes care of herself. I know it, it, it's kind of selfish, but then like she takes care of herself, guys. If this was like a competition about which Sim could take better care of themselves, I think Ariana would be leading and then Ben would be right behind her and, and then Miley would just be sitting at last place comfortably. Ben is reading Miley a bedtime story and a kiss on the head for sweet dreams. Ben is such a good dad right now. I just love how he comfortably like sacrificed the bed so his wife and kid could like sleep. So Ben finally got some shut eye after Ariana left for work and Miley just got up so she can get to school early. I think it's just me, but I absolutely love it when someone makes the bed right after they wake up. Like it just it just makes a lot of sense to me. Now she's getting some breakfast in so she doesn't starve in school. So I think the school bus is here, so she's off to school, and Ben is still sleeping. I don't blame Ben for wanting to sleep in for so long. He didn't sleep a wink just so Ariane and Miley could sleep, so it's his turn. We're just gonna let him have it. So at this point, everything was just going easy for them. I say too easy. Just, it was just a cycle. Wake up eat, sleep, go to work, go to school. I needed to amp up the difficulty, you know, make it a little bit tough for them because I was not about to lose to a bunch of Sims. So I decided to build this. I call it the Confusinator. At this point, we should have established 
that I am terrible at naming. I'm pretty sure none of them are going to be able to figure out my... me. Oh. I built this with the sole purpose of confusing them. But guess what? They figured it out. They figured out the confusionator. Just great. Yep, this'll do. This'll teach him to never outsmart me ever again. <laughs>